folks coming to you live from the van so today I'm gonna try to build some storage shelving and uh, that storage shelving is gonna go up there so it can't be too big whatsoever because by the time you get a mattress in here there is not a lot of room so uh, I would say maximum probably yeah I don't know I'm gonna have to measure that but uh, the one thing that I have learned is that um, you need to attach to both the wall and the ceiling to make a good sturdy shelf. So I'm going to try to get the curvature of the wall and the curvature of the ceiling and cut out some, uh, some pieces. And we'll put a little face frame on it and then hopefully we can cover up that gray stuff up there too. I'll take... Uh or bevel here and see if I can find the angle up there and see if I can do like a straight angle instead of an actual curve I've already got the curve for the ceiling cut. It's not exact, but it's good enough So I've got a template for that, but I'm hopefully I can uh, match the angle and uh, Instead of cutting curved I can just make a kind of a straight angle there. So I'm gonna go do that now Let's see what we're talking about here All right, so that's what we're looking at for a profile there so 10 inches uh, tall, six inches deep, a little bird's mouth to two by three and a half to go over the, uh, the molding. So that's kind of our side profile. So I got to just go work out the angles and uh, we'll make some cuts. Um, we've got three points there where we want to hit to screw to. So, um, <clears throat> And then also a, uh, we got three back points. That'll be easy. And then two roof points. So that's going to be interesting. They don't line up. All right, so I've got my uh, angles. So all the non-squiggly lines are the ones I'm going to cut. And uh, I've got three sandwiched together. Let's see if I can actually make this happen with the skill saw. Probably not, but that's going to be my most accurate uh, way, I think, of kind of replicating that. So let's try it out. All right, I'm trying to use up as much scrap wood as possible that's kind of laying around so I don't have any waste. So this is going to be the bottom. It's not quite wide enough, but I guess that gap between the wall and there will probably serve a purpose maybe to run cords through whatever but uh and then this will be the the backing all right so i've got the pocket holes drilled for the first uh end piece and we'll just go down the board Got our basic shape here. Just need to uh, build a face frame and uh, get the face frame on. So, what I'm gonna do for the face frame is I'm gonna do one by three on the bottom, so that'll give me a little bit of lip, so things won't slide out. And uh, also, uh, and then one by two on the rest of it. Let's get to it. shelving to go on top of the bed and uh, just need to sand it and put a couple coats of polyurethane on it and then we can uh, go to the van and get it installed let's do it all right I puttied a few holes so I'm gonna wait for that to dry and I'll come back and give that a little bit of sand and then we'll put some uh, polyurethane on it all right, we have uh, 
at least two coats of polyurethane on it now. So uh, there we go. And uh, next we'll, uh, we'll video actually installing this in the van. Let's do it. All right, I just kind of got it staged in there. So um, I got a little pole there. So I'm gonna go ahead and install the uh, the brackets to hold it to the top. And I'm probably gonna have to go get longer brackets to hold it to the wall. Let's get started. think it's going anywhere let's try to get a better view of it I'm not sure if I want doors on it yet or not I put that thick lip on the bottom just to, so it would hold stuff but uh, it's kind of what it looks like from the end there you see I still have access to my cabling and A little bit of storage space up there, not much. I didn't want it to be too intrusive to the sleeper. And still have room for maybe feet. And you gotta think a mattress going under there is not gonna be much room in there anyhow, so. But yeah, a little bit of storage space. The outlet's inside there. It's pretty sturdy. We'll see how it holds. Um, I may put a few more screws into the other cabinet there, but. Uh, It's pretty sturdy so all right oh <clears throat> and the other thing that uh, I did today was I installed this co2 fire extinguisher pretty close to where I would probably need it the galley here also installed a second 12 volt outlet there at the top so all right guys that'll do it for this video and the storage shelving over the bed if you like the content please give me a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to the channel already please do so it would greatly help the channel uh, if you're viewing these videos and you're doing a similar build or you've done this before and you know a better way to do this comment down below let me know what that is let me know what i'm doing wrong click that post notification bell you get notified of all the new uploads and share the link with your friends you know what to do until next time skill up and ride and up and go.